top gear, we just love to get off the public roads and onto private tracks to push cars right to the limit, either for sheer fun or to test how a car would handle in an emergency avoidance situation. Obviously, you can't drive like that on the road, but surely with experience, you should be able to enjoy driving briskly and safely. Well, you can, but only if you're sure you know what you're doing. It's all a matter of driver awareness, or defensive driving, as it's sometimes called. To be honest, it's not my speciality subject, but it is. It is. Paul Catlin is a former Class 1 police driver who left the force over 10 years ago to set up his own company running advanced driving courses specialising in improving road driving. So do these courses really have any effect? Well, we find they do, Tiff. Over the last 10 years, we've been training a lot of people, especially company car drivers, and we're finding throughout companies we're reducing their accident rates by 66%. Paul reckons that only one in every ten drivers is actually concentrating on their driving. OK, so now we've got this left-hand bend tip, so we bring the car out towards the middle of the road here, towards the white line. So as far as you go out? Well, you can come over just a bit more, but not too far to get your backside there, so you can see more around the bend. By the time you're into the bench, you'll be on your own side of the road, taking the longest route round, which gives you better visibility and better stability. This is the racing line that most people on you would take. You start out towards the crown of the road, you turn in for the apex there, and you'll see we've got no view now, and on the exit of the bend, the weight of the car naturally brings us into whatever car's coming the other way. If you can see through the bend, however, Tiff, you can normally cut straight through it. OK, time to go back to school and put Paul's theory into practice. Remember, getting a left-hand bend wrong will tend to push you straight into the oncoming traffic. Right, Paul, so approaching your left-hand bend, so I can, what, edge just over this white line a just little? Just touch, Tiff, yeah, to about there. By the time these hazard lines come in, come onto your own side of the road. Good view now. Hold the outside of the curve, and as the road starts to straighten, then it pulls away. It's just very, very easy. Well, the right hand is the same theory, Tiff, but you go the other way around. Obviously, you bring the car into the left, and then we take the longest route around again. We bring the car in far to the left to see right way around the bend, and you find on the exit of the bend, the car's now pulling away towards the centre of the road or towards the middle of the lane, instead of being thrown into that statutory tree that seems to be on the exit of every right-hand bend. OK, so the same right-hand bend approaching. Where does the racing line take me wrong here? Right here, Tiff, if we're now turning towards the apex here, you can see that the weight on the exit of the bend takes us there. You hold it to the left here. I know you want to go over there, but I think we're going to be throwing the exit. Now the car just naturally pulls towards the crown road, ready for an overtaking manoeuvre if, uh, if it was on. Overtaking. Ah, now that sounds a bit more like my cup of tea. Ducking and diving, bobbing and weaving. Getting into the slipstream, closing in for the kill. Oh no, he's just about stopped. Looking for the earliest opportunity to get past. Wrong again. So hold it into the left. Come back to the touch tip. And there, if you want to go, just hold back, hold back, hold back. Let them go first of all. You can't I'm see. now. You can't see. You can see through the middle. Still hold back. Red car coming the other way, and then gently into them. But come back off. So you want to go through with everybody else. Just got too close there. Yeah, just a bit too close. You didn't get the view, you just got into your racing mode and wanted to follow everybody else. All right then, Paul, let's see how you should do it. If we apply the technique, bringing the car into the left, taking a lower gear before the bend, now bringing this car in, not putting pressure on him, staying in towards the left. You see, he's moving towards the crown of the road. Our natural line here is there. He's moved out of our way and we've got a straight line overtake. It's as simple as that. So not getting too close is the key. Well, I think if you get too close, you put pressure on yourself and you put pressure on the car driver in front. OK, Paul, we're coming into a town now. Look, I'm going to get the speed down to 30. Can I switch off and relax a bit now, please? Well, you think so, but now your speed's dropped. Try and keep your thought process going as well, Tiff. Um, you've got other things to look out for. You can actually look at pedestrians, parked cars, people walking out. Everything's going on here, so the answer's no. 
Oh dear, the lesson goes on. We've only just scratched the surface. <laughs>